when we combine people like Stephen Perkins and Mike Watt from these rock right. and punk fields and combine them with you, to me now we're combining forces into something real new. You no, know, the music that I learned, uh, I lived it. Yeah. You yeah. know, I live in it. Yeah. Calvin was just like you. Uh, he told me to jump over the shit. Yeah, man, he, he'd take his good gun and he'd run off the stage, man, and jump up there and do a split and fly, man, like like this here playing and come on back up behind yeah. his head like that. He was showing it at yeah. me between the legs. Yeah, I taught him that. He's yeah. behind my back between my legs. <laughs> well, I, you know, I played my guitar like I was having sex with a woman. <laughs> it goes back to... The real roots, BB. The real roots of my roots. He picked out my first guitar, and I took my first lesson from BB when he sang the blues and played my guitar. And I recorded on BB's first record. That was uh, BB's Boogie, and Miss Martha King on the other side for Bullet Records. My dad. <laughs> Started his band at the Plantation Inn, but the Elvis used to come over there as a young man and middle teen, because he was working for an electrician's company. He used to come in there with his electrician. Yeah, he was driving a truck, and he'd sit there and watch me play Calvin's Boogie, and I was wiggling my hips. Next thing I knew, they were calling him Elvis the Pelvis. <laughs> Yeah, but you went a long ways with that.